Hello, is everyone there? Hi, guys. Привет, всем привет. Uh, please let me know if you can hear me and you can see me. I think I activated the chat box. So I think I'm just waiting. Can you see me there? Yeah? Okay, great. I will just say hi. Привет. Okay. So, uh, no one is letting me know if they are there. Can you chat anything in the box? Can you? No? Okay. Yeah, sorry guys, it's just, I'm doing this first time, okay. <laughs> I figured out how to use uh, Google Hangouts for YouTube Live, so uh, amazing. Okay. Um, начну по-русски, продолжу по-английски. Всем привет! Меня зовут Елена Юнг. И сегодня мы говорим о том, как мы изучаем русский язык и про жизнь. So, guys, I have been away from YouTube for about a year, right? Maybe even longer. Uh, and the interesting thing was that I've been receiving your warm emails all this time. And this is, this is just an amazing feeling because when you're away, you're just, I don't know, you go abroad or you're just away from YouTube and you are still in touch, you are still connected with, with people from all over the world. Uh, and uh, this is actually the reason why I decided to go live today. I just wanted to, to say hi, uh, and I wasn't able to um, reply to all your messages to or your, your emails, and I have this opportunity now. So uh, I hope you can hear me and see me properly. Is everything going well there? Yeah, okay. I'm just having my husband here and uh, he can help me just in case. Just in case. So, uh, guys, let me know where you are tuning in from. Uh, I'm tuning in from New Zealand today and every day, actually, because I live in New Zealand. And this is something that I've been hiding from you all this time. So I just shared this with some of you uh, who I had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with. Um, uh, and it's been actually almost four years now since we moved to New Zealand. Three of us, me, my husband, and son. Uh, my son's name is Robert, and uh, he's six now. Yeah, big boy. So I'm originally from Russia. I'm from Moscow. Uh, and I've been, I, I was there for how long? 20 plus years. Um, and of course I love Russia, of course I love Russian language, that's why I'm here now with you talking about this as well. Um, so I ask you to, I asked you to share with me if you have any questions in Russian or English uh, related to your learning journey or like any questions you have at the moment. And uh, one of the questions that I found very interested was how do I feel more confident when I speak Russian? How do I feel more comfortable when I speak Russian? And this is interesting because I'm a native Russian speaker. English is my second language. You obviously can hear that, right? So, because I have an accent. Um, actually, my accent now is much, much, much better uh, comparing to what I had before, like just three or four years ago. Um, so, 
this is this is an interesting topic not just for those of you who have been learning russian for a while uh, but for those who just who are just starting off because uh, the the more confident we 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 talk the more confident we feel the better connections we build with with people around us right uh, so my story, if you if you received my first email, which was maybe ages ago, uh, it was about my experience with English. So I started learning English in school, and it was just all about writing and reading. It wasn't about speaking. And the first time when I faced a guy, a, an English-speaking guy, at Russian, at um, Moscow Metro, I was just scared to death. I, I didn't, I, I couldn't even say I don't speak English. I could actually answer his question. It was very easy. How to get somewhere like, you know, in city center. But I was just so scared. I was like, mm, no, don't ask me anything. You know, coming from a Russian culture, this is just so easy to to be afraid of making mistakes. And it's probably it's not just about Russian culture. It's about all other cultures as well, because I have friends from all over the world and they face the same problems. But I was such a huge perfectionist at that time. Now I'm much better. Uh, and it was just too much for me, you know, to answer a real question, to go live back then, you know, like more than 10 years ago. Um, and it, it was different because I started working um, at, um, at an international company uh, and I just had to push myself. I just had to put myself out there and just start speaking because my manager was, was English speaker. And he was from uh, Venezuela, and it wasn't his native language, obviously. That's why, that's why it was a bit easier for me to talk with him. Just because you know that feeling, you probably know that when you when you try to speak not in you in not in your native language with someone, and you feel like ah, this person gets me, this person feels me how I feel just because we have the same experience. It's just hard. It's hard at times. You know, I, I start, start stuttering sometimes when I, uh, when I speak English with someone uh, or I speak Russian. It doesn't really matter. Even when I speak Chinese, I don't speak Chinese, but I will definitely stutter. So, <laughs> um, so the thing here is that um maybe one of the most important things not just for language learning but for uh for life just to choose wisely who you are talking with especially when it's not your native language um so i had to start speaking back then uh at the international company i started working with um, and it helped me a bit, so not that much. Only when I started traveling, only when I started seeing uh, real people and started um, talking in real English, then it helped me a lot. But you know, there is another thing. So what, what do I mean by um, choose wisely who you are talking with? Before I start talking with someone, I observe them first. I want to see how this person reacts, how this person responds to others. Because I want to understand maybe what's the type, what is the type of personality this person has? Is this per person patient? Is this person is going to listen to me? Is this person is going to be gentle with me when I feel like, yes, this is a great person to start talking with. 
uh, I just I just step up and I just create that connection. Of course, we create that connection uh, firstly by saying hi, how are you? Привет, как ты? Как твои дела? Как твой день? Что нового в жизни? Как жизнь? And I'm not a big fan of small talks, so. Uh, I prefer to speak about something meaningful. So that's why, you know, I take a moment, I take some time before I start talking with someone to just understand if this person is going to be, um, is this person going to be helpful? Uh, can I, can I just start sharing something? Can I maybe help? Can I, can we just maybe start with a small talk? Okay. That's fine. So uh, number one thing is like the biggest for me is just choose who you are building that connection with. Either it's English or Russian or any other language. I have a friend of mine here in New Zealand. She is originally from Chile and she speaks Spanish. She has been here for um, more than six years now, and she's still struggling speaking English fluently. And it's not even an advanced level, because this is an another question that we get sometimes. Uh, do we have to live in the country of the language you are learning? Uh, is it necessary? Of course, it's a great advantage for you if you want to learn language faster and you just want to immerse yourself into that beautiful native environment. But if you don't have that opportunity, if I decide to learn French or uh, Mandarin or any other language, I obviously am not going to China or France straight away, right? Uh, we are looking for resources, we are looking for materials and systems, uh, which is great. But all these systems, they it doesn't mean that they are going to work for everyone, for each of us, right? So we have to choose the way. This is our responsibility. This is our job to choose the way how we learn the language. But we always, not but, and, and we always have a choice to choose who we are sharing this knowledge with, who we are practicing with. So back to my friend, she, uh, she's struggling speaking English and I know how it feels. That's why when we talk to each other, I'm very present. I'm not on my phone. I'm not looking anywhere else. I'm just present with her. And this is, um, this is an amazing feeling. And not just, it's not just about speaking a foreign language, right? It's about speaking our, speaking our native language as well. You just feel so great when you are connected in this moment. And it's a good idea when you feel like this person is open uh, to talk with you in Russian and he or she is fine with, um, with you, you know, making mistakes and just asking questions. This is the right person. Just stick to this person. And it's always a good idea just to ask um, a few things. Like, I'm learning, I'm in process, I'm in progress, please, uh, I would love your help. If I make a mistake, if you are fine when the person is correcting you along the way when you are speaking, then you just let, let them know. Could you please correct me while I'm speaking if, like, I don't know, I stressed a, a wrong syllable or I just pronounced it a different way. Please let me know. Or if you feel like you want to finish your phrase first or you want to complete, you, you want to finish with your idea first and then you want to get a feedback or any corrections or comments, 
then just let this person know please let me know when i'm done talking i know maybe this is it can sound for some of you like oh this is ridiculous how am i gonna connect with uh, uh with this people if they are just uh, they have to follow some instructions or they have to follow um some advice from me it's not about that if this person is not patient naturally if this person is not gentle if they are not wishing you well just okay leave that person and go uh this is probably not the person you want to have in your life this is probably not the person you want to build that connection and just you know keep in touch and be friends with it's the same in learning a new language i'm speaking english here in new zealand but it doesn't mean that i want to talk to everyone right it, it sounds obvious <laughs> for us it sounds obvious when we speak in our native language right but when we speak in a foreign language then we just like i want to catch any opportunity to practice i want to catch any person just to let them know i'm learning their language it doesn't work that way and you probably some of you maybe have experienced that already before uh so uh, this is like so the first thing was choose wisely who you are hanging out with when you're trying to when you want to practice your russian choose wisely and second thing is to just to be open to ask questions to be open to ask for feedback and this is actually the main things for me and this is from my experience obviously so what i noticed about my friend uh from chile when she talks with other people and they are not that patient and they are not that open she just shut shut herself down she just she's just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she is not feeling like sharing her emotions sharing her thoughts one of the things that she shared with me recently was that i better stay quiet than i express myself just because people i i myself she said that i myself feel like i'm a three-year-old child i'm trying to squeeze into that adult conversation but i can't it's like I'm blocked just because I I don't know I I don't have the the right words to to use uh, my my vocabulary is not that good but the interesting thing is that the moment when you have that person relax and just to remind that we are only humans and this is a human interaction no judgment no fun of you no one is gonna make fun of you if this is a the right person right uh suddenly she finds the right words suddenly her vocabulary is is deep deep enough for her to express her feelings so please i ask you when you have these conversations with russian speakers don't feel like this is you this is something wrong with you i'm never gonna learn this language this is so hard for me this is just terrible uh i'm bad at this this is a very common thing uh just give yourself time and remind yourself this is a human interaction that's it and you know interesting thing is that now um when i speak to a native speaker i mean english speaker 
sometimes I feel like they are thinking probably I don't understand them well, so they try to speak slower. Oh, they try to pronounce the words clearly. And that's fine, but it's it's just, I, I start smiling just because I know how they feel, because I do the same thing with, uh, with you, with people who learn Russian. I just, just because I care. So this is the, like the whole secret. Find the person who cares, not just one. There is not just one person on earth who's gonna help you with that, but just find wisely. Um, so, uh, back to, to my conversation with, uh, native speakers. Uh, so I start smiling, but then when we go deeper into, uh, the conversation, they, they find like, okay, she's fine. She understands me. Okay. Now we can go deeper. Right. Um, so just don't, uh, don't give up. Don't think that it's just you all the time, right? Uh, and yeah, these just little uh, reminders. You can write it down in your notebook or I don't know, you can put it on your desktop when you are learning Russian. This is a human interaction and I enjoy it. I'm just learning the language. That's it. The, uh, I think this is the easiest thing for me, but I would love to hear back from you what you think about this. If you've had this experience before, uh, what struggles have you been facing um, all this time when you've been on your in your learning journey? So uh, let me see if I have any questions, any other questions from you. Um, so if you feel like you want to uh, comment or you want to ask a question, please uh, just use that chat box uh, and you can just type in there. Okay, just a moment. Mm. Okay, so another question was... Uh, как тебе Новая Зеландия? Uh, so, uh, shall, I, shall I answer in, in English or in Russian? Uh, so the question was in Russian, so I probably will answer in Russian then. Новая Зеландия прекрасна. Очень красивая страна. И я живу в городе Крайсчерч. Я живу здесь с моей семьей, как я уже сказала, с мужем и сыном. И эм, мы наслаждаемся жизнью здесь. Здесь прекрасно. До Новой Зеландии мы жили в Малайзии, в Австралии, в Таиланде и путешествовали по, по Европе и по Азии. Uh, нам удалось uh, удалось попутешествовать. Uh, another question was uh, where was it? Another question was what language my son speaks. So um, my son speaks two languages, Russian and English. I would say on the same level. And uh, there was a question from one uh, family. It was a mom. She has two children and her husband is Russian speaking and she is English speaking. And her question was like how to preserve the language, how to help the children to speak both languages on the same level. Uh, there is a secret, just one. So from my experience, um, you just don't mix the languages. When you explain something in Russian, when you talk in Russian, when you read a book in Russian, then discuss it in Russian. When you uh, 
when you watch a movie or a cartoon in English, then okay, discuss it in English. When a child doesn't understand uh, a word or a phrase, you stick to the same language anyway. You paraphrase, you try to use different words. You you can use your, your hands or different subjects just to show and explain, uh, but you don't switch the languages. So this is m the main secret. Maybe not the only one, but a good one. Uh, guys, I don't see any other questions coming uh, from uh, you. So I really hope that you can see me and you can hear me and everything. Yeah, thumbs up. <laughs> um, so let me, this is completely unscripted, unpolished. And I, I can tell you this is so different to be live and to just upload a pre-recorded video and just to be in front of the camera. It's so different. And this is hilarious because I'm literally looking at myself now and I'm talking to myself. And I hope that you can see me and you can hear me. So what was another question, uh, interesting question that you asked me before in your emails? Uh, is that how, how do I find uh, different systems for um, learning Russian? Uh, are they helpful? What, what's better to use and uh, what systems I recommend? At this stage, I cannot recommend any system because I myself didn't follow any system. And I believe, again, this is our job, our responsibility to find our way in language learning. It can be, it can be anything from uh, Duolingo to some complex systems and programs. But it's totally up to you. It depends on your type of personality. It depends on your time. It depends on you want to watch or you want to listen. You want to write or you want to read. What's your priority? My priority was speaking. So I was quite good at reading and writing already. So I was, and I didn't choose it back then at school, right? So I just, I had to go with this. Uh, but then in life, my priority was speaking. That's why I took every opportunity to be able to talk with a great person. And if I see that this is the person I maybe can practice, I can set up a call, I can have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I would just go for it. Uh, so I, I cannot say that th these systems are bad and they don't work. This is not true. Don't get me wrong. Uh, absolutely not. This, they, they work for some people and maybe they work for you as well. And I actually am so excited and so happy the, for you that you have all these opportunities, all these materials out there when you are learning. Um, and YouTube is an amazing tool, right? Um, when I was learning English, I didn't have that. And um, you just you just try. You just uh, take one step, then another, see what's working for you, what's not. And it's not about if you started with one program, with one system, and you, you feel uncomfortable, you don't see any progress, that's fine. Give yourself a little bit of time, but just maybe set up a date when you want to review and reflect what you what you've experienced and was it something that you planned to experience where you are uh, in your learning now and if you don't feel comfortable or you don't see any progress just try another program it's not about you it's the same as with anything in life when you don't like when you start reading a book and you don't like it you just you put it aside and you take another one when you start um a relationship with someone and it you feel like uh, it doesn't work for you 
you probably have to review and reflect what's going on if it's worth to invest your time and energy in this relationship. Completely the same with uh, learning, uh, with learning language. So um, I would love to hear from you to know your comments and feedback, uh, which systems you are learning, uh, you are learning with at the moment and um, how you feel about them, what maybe what you feel like there is a lack uh, on the market and you, you really need it. I was thinking uh, about a podcast. I was thinking about Instagram because all these platforms have these beautiful new features that we can use, we can interact live, uh, we can stay connected all the time, every single day. So are you using any of these platforms? Are you, uh, do you find it um, beneficial for you? Just let me know. Guys, th it's uh, time. So um, it's been half an hour with you. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And it was my first time. So no judgment, please. But actually, no, you're welcome to judge. You are most welcome to judge because I'm so happy now. And I just I feel like even if there is one person watching who is me, <laughs> that's fine. I'm just having so much fun and I enjoy it so much. Thank you so much for watching. That's a lot of so much today right you, you can you just can feel that excitement right uh thank you so much for tuning in and i appreciate all your emails all your warm comments all your warm words and thank you so much for staying in touch with me for all this time and uh, let's see how it works if you like this live let me know please uh I just absolutely enjoyed it. I already said that, right? Uh, so you can email me. You can comment um, just below the video or just anything that works for you. Okay. So let's wrap up. And I um, wish you a beautiful day. Enjoy it no matter uh, which day you are in now because it's actually Friday in New Zealand. And it's 10.33 uh, a.m. here. So uh, enjoy your uh, time wherever you are in the world. Have a great day. Have a great night. And uh, let's stay connected. Always remember about human interaction. Okay? <laughs> See you guys. <laughs>